Adam. <clears throat> Adam. Um, I think the reason you might have felt detached a little bit is because it was cutting. It wasn't stopping and starting. The flow kept getting busted up, kind of like when I was eating these out of the box just now. So I'm going to put this away. Yeah, the stopping and starting, I think, always takes away. I try, I try not to edit my, my, my blogs because I want them to be like bits of conscious thought just connected, you know? Because it's more about the feeling. It's more about the presence than it is about specifically what you're saying. You're just kind of expressing it. How it comes out doesn't really matter. You just got to talk about it. And dude, what you... I went through what you went through. I'm going through what you're going through. I feel isolated from people. But then I don't. It's like I feel it, but then I realize that's the same feeling as being excited to talk to someone new. It's anticipation, it's excitement, it's nervousness. It's just all about how you look at the situation. Once you realize what you can get out of a conversation with someone, um, what you can get out of someone rather than when you, so you don't mirror what people are giving back directly, like you said. If they take it to a level, you'll match the level. And then if they raise it a little bit, you'll raise it a little bit. But when you decide to go on, go beyond that, let go, a little bit and press the envelope in either direction. Take take the conversation where you want the conversation. People fucking go along for that. People get down with that. That's what people want. That's what I want from other people. And that's what other people want from me. And that's what I think uh, every relationship really is. It comes down to two people kind of guiding each other through in any given moment. And it can be for 10 seconds, it can be for 10 years doesn't really matter how long, it's just whenever you have that communication with someone, you guide each other. Because I tell you, when you guide someone, when you take someone somewhere emotionally, they will take you somewhere emotionally every single time. It's like, that's the mirror of it. All right. That was uh, just a burst of thought. It was good to, good to meet you. I subscribed to your videos. Thanks for responding. Um, I'm looking forward to hearing, oh, I'm looking forward to hearing more about it. And totally, I want to hear more about your parents. In your relationship with your parents because a lot of times when there's a lot of money involved there's not a lot of communication involved because money when you make money the amount of time just literally the amount of time spending making the money is time away from communicating and that's why money is not the answer it's just another grief it's something you need to get a certain amount of and then focus on what you want really man geez I guess Give the rest away to people so that they can do the same thing. Excessive wealth is bizarre. I mean, why do we need multiple houses and boats and all that shit? I guess a boat would be kind of cool, but you can rent a boat. All right, I'll see you later, dude. I guess maybe owning a boat and living in a boat would be kind of cool. See ya.